What's going on guys? Andrew here from Trading Options Daily. Today I want to take you through the Trader Workstation for Interactive Brokers, the TWS Workstation, show you how to actually input a trade and then check your position to understand if you're actually up or down on the trade, if you're in the money, out of the money, if you're going to make money, lose money, that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. Let's show you how to do that today to make sure that you get it right. And let's go into the Trader Workstation here and get into it. So I want to go ahead and just open a position. So I'm going to sell put on Disney. I'm an options trading guy, so I like to sell puts. So I'm going to see it's at 148 on the chart, maybe around the 142 area would be good. Let's sell that put right there. This is a paper account, fake trading. So it's fake money, which is good to go. We'll sell this. Boom. That's done. It's an order right now. Let's change this, make sure it gets applied. Okay, Phil. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's drop this down just to get it filled. Update order filled. Cool. It's gone into a trade, so now it's in our position. We go to the portfolio up the top here, Interactive Brokers, and we click into it. And you see there's a couple different things in here, right? There's a Tesla position, there's a Disney put, there's an Apple put, and there's this column here showing daily P&L. And like daily P&L is great for the actual day that it is, but it doesn't show you how you're up or down on a position long term. And I'm going to show you an example in a second here. I sold this put on Apple today in a fake account, and same with Disney. I just did that. You, saw, you guys saw that. Now this Tesla position has been here for a little while and it's showing that's up 2,500 bucks today. But that's not maybe the whole picture. So we have to make sure we add this column called underlying or unrealized p &L. We just hover over any of these kind of tabs here and it'll say insert column. We want to do that. And we want to go to prices or position p &L. We want unrealized p &L down here. Okay. And that just popped us in there. Unrealized p &L. And we can just click on this, right click. Okay, make sure you right click on it and go down to the bottom and you want to display value. You can either display value, right? Which is showing us that the position right now is down eight bucks, it's down five bucks, it's down 14,000 bucks. This is what I'm talking about. Like this P&L for the day shows that it's up 2,500 bucks today. But since I opened this position up, thank goodness it's in a fake account because it's down 14 grand overall. So you want to toggle this between the value, just right click, display value, display percentage. It gives you the percentage that you're up or down or it gives you the percentage and the value if you could display both and it gives you a percentage and then the value unrealized. So it could tell you and save you some headache that if you're in this and you're actually up 2,600 bucks a day, you might only be uh, up on the day and actually still down in your position. So you wanna have unrealized P&L whenever you're going through your positions to make sure that you're getting it right. Let's do the same thing and go through just like a quick buy and sell. So let's go into, uh, Amazon moves pretty good. So let's go to Amazon and let's just go ahead and let's buy. Let's just buy some shares, okay? Buy, and we'll just fill, submit 100 shares, okay? Again, this is a paper account, fake trading, so just to give you an idea of what's going on, update it, let's switch it to market order, actually, which I never advise you to do, but just to get this thing filled. It's in our account now, and you wanna go see if you have a profit, okay? We're down 147 bucks on, on Amazon, that's daily p &L. Now it's 27 and you can just track unrealized P&L, right? If you wanna make sure to see overall how it's doing. So this just tells me that it's up or down today. Unrealized P&L tells me up or down on the entire position for the entirety of how long you've had it open, which is super important because you want to be sure that you're checking your position sizing and what's up and down versus the whole position versus just one day. Again, like this Tesla example, it's up 2,800 bucks today, but down 14,000 bucks overall. So it's not be a good time to sell depending on what the position is, you wanna make sure that this is green. Unrealized PL is in the green, like this one for Amazon's kinda of jumping up here and doing, which is what you want, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have anything you wanna see, you can email me at trading off, Andrew at tradingoptionsdaily.com, or you can just reply to this video on YouTube, and I would be happy to make videos for you, helping you guys out with any of your interactive brokers, TWS, or the actual mobile app uh, questions that you guys may have.